Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. I also want to just thank every one of you for all your support. I really appreciate it. I always see you guys checking out my videos and, and I really, really appreciate it. Just, I can't even, I can't even bring that to words, like how much I appreciate it. So thank you so much. All of you commenting, all your nice comments. All the, all the regulars all, uh, on the Discord channel, everyone I see, just thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Such beautiful people, all right? Just really, trust me, it's, it means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, today, today, we're going to keep working on the game, of course. We're going to do a little fix on the view and what's been rendered. Because if I show you, if I just run the game real quick, I want to show you what's going on. Um, everything works fine. It looks pretty good. But the lighting or the rendering of the tile map is a little weird because it renders uh, dependent on from from the player's position. You see this? All the tiles here, they're being rendered dependent on this. But I want them to be rendered dependent on the view's position because that means we won't have to render all these extra tiles because it will just render all the tiles we want um, from the view's center instead. And that will help us out a lot and we'll save on the computer processing and everything like that. Um, also, we're going to have to fix this and get a tile map maximum value that we can use here. And then we'll just go ahead and fix that in a minute. And then we'll have to do some extra fixes here because uh, if it doesn't reach that, we don't want it to bug out. We want it to just be normal and behave. So we're going to kind of, we're going to kind of make a little fix for that. Anyway, to get started, what we need, we need a variable. Okay. We need a variable in gamestate.h. I'm just going to put it right under view, okay, because it belongs to view, kind of. Uh, SF, whoops, SF vector, come on, vector 2i, view grid position. And here in the CPP file, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to update that. So this view grid position dot x equals this. Uh, view dot get center dot x divided by this state data grid size grid size there we go okay so once we do that uh, that should be fine the only thing is this is uh, this needs to be static casted static cast int and remember to static cast these separately because we want an integer division all right or you could just static cast one of these and it will turn into a integer division by itself but i'm just going to do it on both why not just make sure it's all casted correctly now we need to do the same thing for y okay and then i'm going to give you a little refresher on how our tile map works um here we go okay so now our view position is up being updated correctly now we can use it in this state and to use it in this state the only thing you're gonna have to do is in tile map render here we're telling the tile map where to render from where's the center how many cubes or how many um what do you call it uh tiles from the this position are we supposed to render around so if i give it player center it's gonna relate to that right it's gonna go from there but if we give it the this uh, view view grid position it's going to go from there now 2i to 2f wait is it is it requesting a player position wait where is that grid vector 2i grid position all right you know what this is a grid position are you serious oh no 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 i'm wrong i'm wrong wait don't do it here Leave that because this is for the shader. This is information for the shader, for the lighting. Um, this is what we want to change. So I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to say this. Uh, view grid position. There we go. Now it should be fine. Now it shouldn't be a problem. Also, the deferred render is, is okay. Mm -hmm. The deferred render is okay. I'm just pushing up the rendering. Let's run this and let's see. Okay, so now we're seeing this, the edge of the, the map here 
is just fine. It's no big deal, right? Because that is the edge of the map. It's not rendering anything unnecessary. It's not doing anything crazy. Uh, and we're doing good. We're doing good. It's working out for us, right? So that's pretty much what we wanted. And it feels it feels cool. Feels good. Feels nice. Uh, might be a little laggy-ish. I don't know. But we'll, we'll get to that. I don't think so. I think it's just my computer right now. Um, anyway, once you get that working... It's gonna go from there. Now we wanna we wanna shorten that up a little bit. We wanna go into tile map, and we wanna just make sure we shorten that amount up, just a tiny bit. Um, where is it? If we go down to render, obviously it's at the bottom here. Here we go. Okay, so I'm rendering a whole lot here, right? And fifteen, sixteen. So what is that? Let's just calculate. Calc each sixty-four is each tile. Multiplied by 16. Okay, that's 1024. Okay, and 15. So that's from the center. So what we want is we actually want both sides to do 190, uh, 1920 divided by uh, 2. So we want them to do 960, right? So 960 divided by 64. It's not going to be an even number, but it's going to be around 15. Okay, so it's around 15, I guess. You know, uh, this is fine, I guess. This is fine. Let's just do the other calculation. Calc. Uh, 10, wait, we don't need to calculate. 1080, that's 5. 540 for the y-axis. 540 divided by 64 is... No, wait. 540 divided by 64. Wait, yeah, that is kind of 8.4, so... We're doing 9 here. Probably don't need that much. Maybe we need a 9 here and an 8 here. Something like that. I figure. Probably. And maybe we need 15, 15 here and 14 here. Pretty sure. Okay. Let's just run this and just see if it's if it's okay. Pretty sure it's going to be alright. Yeah. Pretty sure it's alright. Well, no, this isn't that good. This needs to be, again set to let's see, you know actually these were pretty good these were pretty all right let's just keep them at that and then we'll figure it out as we go anyway what we need to do now is we need to um, make sure tile map has a function to return the maximum size of the world all right so max size world grid we do have these let's just see if they're being initialized let's go to the top um Max size world grid is the width and the height. Okay. All right, so we have we have those. Now we just need to get them somehow and we we need accessors for that. So update collision add tiles accessors const sf vector 2i reference as well. Uh like where is it? God damn it. There we go. Get max size uh, grid const. And then we might as well make a function get max size f just to get it in floats. Okay. Let's just define these like this. All right. All right. And. Right here, okay. So accessors right there, nice. Return this max max size world grid. Yeah. And return this max size world F. All right, so once we get that down, uh, Work the two F. Sorry about that. It should be F in here as well. Boom. Okay, so now this stuff should be working. Am I even recording right now? Yes, I am. All right. Soon done. We just need to make sure this works. And then in the next video, we're probably going to make sure uh, the whole this whole thing works. If the if the map size isn't big enough. Let's see. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, so this was the edge of the world. 
That seems fine as well. Okay. And that is the... Not the end of the world. I don't think those are the end of the world, actually. If we go to game state... Let's just see... Okay, we're pretty much loading it in. All right, it doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's 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 fine. We can just add it. I'll make a map for the editor in the next video, and then we'll keep working on this problem for the edge of the view. Okay, and then probably I'm gonna make a little weapon class. We can work with that. And my idea is like this. All right, I'm gonna have a base class for item. From that, I'm going to have a class that that uh, it derives from, right? Or it takes from item. It's a child of item, I guess. I don't even remember the lingo right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, it, weapon, weapon class. Item class, weapon class. And then we're going to have subclasses like bow, sword, you know, weapon types. So we're going to have a, a lot more classes than we were used to. So another way to do it would be just to have a item class and then a weapon class. And that weapon class will be named, you know, you create a weapon bow, uh, spear, all that stuff. But in my way, we can kind of customize those weapons a lot more gameplay wise so if you make a bow you can make it really really different from a sword but it's still classified as a weapon because it, it derives from weapon understand so it's kind of going to be like that but we're going to have a little more classes than we're used to but it's going to be cool uh, anyway thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you learned something hopefully it was fun thanks again for all the support and all you guys sorry if i can't help you enough I really am trying, but it's too much shit going on right now with, with school and stuff. I'm really sorry, but eventually I'll get to everyone. Uh, but until then, just thank you so much. Hopefully other people can help you out, other people who have solved the problem. So I really encourage you, go to Discord, check it out, and hopefully you'll get the help you need, all right? But thank you again, take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.